Akbar Day. And 76 years ago today, 600,000 Palestinians were expelled from Palestine. And Palestinians across the world mark this day in terms of the catastrophe that continues to this day. And no adjectives could sum up what's happening to the people in Gaza at the moment. Persecution, being tormented, brutalised, murdered, exiled and, and uh, jailed. I could go on. Now, Minister, I ask you, 15,000 children have been murdered by the State of Israel since October the 7th. What sanctions is this country taking against a country that can brutalise and murder that amount of people in that short of time? Thank you, Ken Carla, and thank you, uh, Deputy. Um, yeah, today, as you say, is um, is uh, um, Israel or Nab Nabka. Na Nabka Day, and uh, it uh, marks uh, Israeli Independence Day and Palestine uh, Nakba Day. Both both days are today. Um, these dates serve as a reminder of the deep historical complexity that surrounds the current conflict. Um, as I said earlier, the Tanish has said this morning that they're going to recognise uh, the state. Uh, uh, we're going to recognise the state of Palestine by the end of this month. Uh, we uh, work across uh, Europe with our uh, colleagues, in, and we make every effort we can. And we continually call for an immediate and sustainability humanitarian ceasefire. Sorry, no, you've asked the question already. I'm sorry, Deputy. Deputy Pather to be. You know the answer. Deputy Pather to be, please. Good morning, Ken Cordia.